What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I'm looking at today's was media day for the NBA. And uh, I get to see LeBron James. The world got to see LeBron James sitting and doing media day with his son, his oldest son, Bronny James Jr. Well, Bronny James, a.k.a. LeBron James Jr., man. And that was really a dope image to see. Seriously, I don't care what nobody say. That is black excellence personified for you to be able as a black man be able to make your kid's dream come true. Your kid has a lifelong dream, dream of playing in the NBA. You are in position to make that happen. And, um, you know, you're able to play with your son on a team. That's dope to me. People are going to, a lot of people don't like it. Oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. This is wrong. That I've seen plenty of white folks do it um, in the game of basketball uh, in particular. Kobe Carl was on the L.A. Lakers roster. Kobe Carl, y'all don't even know who y'all didn't know who a lot of y'all don't even know who that is. He was on a Lakers roster because his father is George Carl, right? Um, Luke Walton stayed around for a long time, for much longer than he should have because he's the son of the legendary Bill Walton, right? Um, John Barry, John was never nice. I don't care what y'all, John was never a short, he wasn't enough, he wasn't a, a primetime shooter, primetime. He wasn't a great, I shouldn't say prime time. He wasn't a great enough shooter to be in the league that long and to be given all them chances. John had years where he averaged three points, two points a game, four points, three points a game, two points. And he really was given a shot for real because he was Rick Barry's son. John Barry was never the one on the court. Brent Barry was the one. And we all know that, right? But everybody let John Barry stay around. Everybody was all cool with John Barry being around for a long time. It was all flowers and, and rainbows, and everybody was cool with it. The moment LeBron James is in position to make his son play, I mean to get his the moment LeBron James is in position to get his son uh, an NBA shot and opportunity, everybody pissed off about it. Oh, it's LeBron trying to control the narrative. It's those clutch sport guys. They bring up. Michael Jordan would have never done this. We don't know what Michael Jordan would have, would have done because, hell, Jeff Jordan did not belong on a Big Ten roster to save his life. And he was on Illinois' basketball team because they were sponsored by Jordan. One, Marcus Jordan could hoop. He was nice, right? He, he was hoop. He was pretty pretty good basketball, very good basketball player, pretty good. Much better than Jeff. But Marcus quit before his – he didn't even play all his years of basketball. He quit after his junior season. So he never even had a chance to try to make the NBA leap. He never even tried to do it. If he would have tried to do it, I guarantee Michael Jordan would have made sure Marcus Jordan was on a roster. Whether it would have been with the Washington Wizards or whatever team he owned, Marcus would have been playing. Jeff Jordan quit as well. Both of, his, both, both of his sons quit playing. So they weren't on a roster. So all that, Michael Jordan would never, we would never, he would never. We don't know what Mike would have done for them kids. Oh, he'd have made it happen. He'd be fooling y'all with all that. I only wanted the real way, the strong way. A lot of brothers that got it out the mud want their kids to be able to walk into doors and get what they and get what they had to crawl to get. Seriously, and that's always been has been man. As a as a a lot of these dudes who have to work their ass off, they will talk that shit to y'all. My kids got to break through to get it out the mud, and I, man, listen. And y'all going to say, I know y'all going to say, well, competitive sports is different. Competitive, Even in competitive sports, how many dudes have gotten a shot based upon their name, who their father is? It happens all the time. White players, black players, but we've seen it, right? But And, and LeBron James get vilif gets vilified for it. He's taking up somebody else's roster spot. All that shit, man. Listen, um, I'm happy for the young brother. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for LeBron James and his family. Savannah James, man, she won, man. Her husband and her oldest son is now on the same team. That's a dope experience to have, man. Um, I don't think Bronny is going to be playing on the main roster a lot. I think he's going to play the majority of the time in the G League and get more reps in. The more time he's on the court with professionals, the more his confidence uh, rises, the more um, I feel like his shots start to fall, the more he, again, confidence is everything in basketball. And again, the more he's out on the floor playing with professionals, the more um, he's getting quality minutes, the more he's able to play through certain mistakes, the better he plays. And you saw it in the summer league. The more he played, the more he played, the more he played, the more he had better outputs. And at the end of his summer league, uh, the summer league time, he started to play much better after struggling early on. 
So I believe he will go to the G League to help him get ready um, for the rigors of NBA basketball and help him prepare and help him be uh, at the highest quality, uh, the, the highest quality of player. And I think eventually he will get called up, but I believe he will play majority of his year in the G League, you know what I mean? And then uh, he will play some games on the LA Lakers roster. But it's just a dope thing to see them, the a father and son sitting with each other and, and, you know, you're helping your son achieve his lifelong dream of being an NBA player. If you got the capability of doing it, hey, and he and LeBron did it, and that's dope. I would do the same thing for my son. I wouldn't give a fuck. Excuse my language. I wouldn't care what nobody got to say. Oh, they're gonna, what are they gonna, what are they gonna think about your son? What are they gonna think about him? White folks don't give a damn what you think about their kids when they make it happen. Asian folks don't care what you think about their kids when they get their kids indoors. Hispanic people don't care about what you think about what they kid. They don't care about what y'all think about their kids when they make stuff happen for them. These dudes and white CEOs, white CEO, white CEOs could give a damn a rat's ass if you think their kid earned it or not. If you think they were good enough, if you think they were more, they were qualified enough, they don't care. They're marching their kids through the door and letting their dream happen and letting them get to that generational wealth like they've been doing and passing it along to their kids. LeBron James, outstanding job making your child's dream come true and getting a chance to play with your eldest boy and have a good time on the court and, and, and to make his dream happen and play alongside your son. That's a beautiful thing, especially from a black man with his son. Outstanding. I would do the same for my son. I don't care what nobody say. It's a beautiful sight. Congratulations to LeBron James Jr. and LeBron James Sr. Peace.